In the good old days, ice was hard to come by. Practical refrigeration systems were developed from an understanding of a practical solar-powered engine. Charles Tellier, 17th century French engineer, is sometimes known as the father of refrigeration, even though he was not the first to dabble with mechanical cooling. Tellier's work on a solar thermal engine paved the way for his understanding of refrigeration. The first solar powered engine used a hot box to boil water and produce steam, but the power produced was minimal. In 1865, Charles decided that a low boiling point liquid like ammonia would be more suitable than water to boil since ammonia has a boiling point of minus 28 degrees Fahrenheit. After the gaseous ammonia powered his engine, it was condensed and recycled back into the boiling chain chamber. Unfortunately, coal became the standard material for generating heat. Undaunted, Charles used his knowledge of the cooling effect of an expanding gas to develop mechanical refrigeration systems. The first refrigeration machine was built by a Scottish professor, William Cullen, in 1755. Cullen used a pump to create a vacuum over a container of diethyl ether. The ether boiled by absorbing heat from the surrounding air. This experiment created a small amount of ice on the outside of the container but had no practical application at that time. In 1758, Benjamin Franklin and John Hardley continued investigating the principle of evaporation as a means to cool an object. They confirmed that the evaporation of a highly volatile liquid, such as alcohol or ether, could be used to drive down the temperature of an object past the freezing point of water but they never built a practical cooling device. Many refrigeration improvements took place over the next few centuries as mechanically cooled air became an indispensable tool for preserving food. Today, most homes in America are equipped with refrigerators and air conditioners. As you know, standard air conditioners are designed to bring a room temperature down as low as 65 degrees Fahrenheit, but this is not cool enough to maintain fresh quality food. If air conditioners get too cold, ice forms on the cooling fins and air stops flowing. A cool controller can be used to bring the temperature of an air conditioner below 65 degrees Fahrenheit without causing ice to form on the fins. A low-cost walk-in cooler may be constructed with solid insulation and cooled with a conventional air conditioner. To obtain lower temperatures than an air conditioner can provide, a cool controller may be used to regulate the walk-in cooler temperature. Go to JC Solar Homes to find out more about a walk-in cooler and the cool controller